I'm Chris and this is my Volkswagen Beetle passenger side door mirror video. So we want a door mirror right there. What do we do? The only way we're going to do this right is we need to make a template off of the driver's side. So the mirror should be able to move a little bit like that. This is a 19 millimeter, but what do you do if your car is super nice and painted? You got to be super careful. Just take this off. So 12 millimeters loosen that. We'll take them all apart and look at them here in a second. But now we can just get that off. Carefully get in there. Be careful with that seal. As you can see, this one's already screwed up. This little rubber gasket in there. All right. So the inner structure of the door, and then there's a threaded piece, possibly tack welded or glued in there. It's hot here in Houston. The fan stays on during the video. So it just pulls off of the car. Be careful with that seal. This one's screwed up. So this is off of my parts beetle. Notice the seal is still good on it. So we're going to use this one. Carefully take this thing off. So these adjust the tension on the spring and the tightness. So if you tighten it super tight, you'll lock this. So just little increments for about eighth of a turn. Now we can move it. You want it super snug. Same thing with this one. You need to adjust this before you screw it down. Do about eighth turns, quarter turns. Just where you can barely turn it with your hands. Good. So that's the order it goes in. That, that, that. So that's all you can do here. So then that side, there's no washer. We took them apart so we can see exactly what's going on and give us a chance to clean them up because we're going to reuse this driver one. Okay, so just quadruple zero steel wool and WD-40. That's all you need. If you have pitting on there, you can get a razor blade and cut it off. I think that looks better than a pit, but you be the judge. It's up to you. So now we need to create a template. Go ahead and find the center of it, and we're going to use a center punch. That hole is 28.5 millimeters, 1.12 inches, right here. So that hole does not have to be that big. Okay, so the hole needs to be that. So I have no idea what's behind here, so we're just going to drill a three-quarter inch hole. Well, that was fast. You need to check your brand new one, not the old one, because it uses a different seal on there. And this seal does not have that inner lip in there. So the hole only needs to be as big as that if you buy this new one. I got this from J Bugs. That's going to make this so much easier. So now we're going to use this step drill bit and we're going to go to three quarters and stop and check it. Okay, that inner structure piece is in there with the hole. All right, 1972 Beetle. There is an inner structure piece in there, but it's not as close this way. All right, it's a little bit bigger. So I would use one of these file reamer things and carefully cut it out until it fits. Beautiful, perfect fit. Man, you can't beat that. Hey, it's super flimsy have to do something about that so they sell this bushing at j-bugs you're gonna have to use this or your mirror job is gonna be trash somebody could easily try to adjust that mirror and next thing you know you're gonna warp this whole panel right here so we have to figure out how to get this in there then we have to take the door panel off i do not want to do that Right, I'm gonna have to figure this out. I have no idea how to get this up in there. So exposed metal, just cover it with some primer or some paint. See what I did? I wrapped that coat hanger around it and you see the bend on the coat hanger. We're gonna fish it up in there 
and we're gonna screw it down. You're gonna have to have your piece like this. Remember the back cannot be closed off. This has to go all the way through it. Okay. You don't need to over tighten this. Just snug it up. Okay, so these new ones don't have springs. They just have a rubber, see that gasket that you're compressing? So what made that super difficult was that little bushing was pot metal or aluminum or something. I couldn't get a magnet to hold it. So you're not gonna be able to weld it to the inside of the car. So you're gonna have to get some JB weld. We're gonna do that another time. Obviously all this has to come back out. We're gonna be restoring this car in a few years and we're taking it all down and doing every little detail on it. But you see what happened there, look we have a door mirror on the passenger side. So I put the mirror on there because I need it. Every car that I own has a passenger mirror and I need this when I'm backing out at night. I cannot back out without a mirror. I'll get out of the car and look. So it was around $30 at J-Bugs. It does come with a new seal. If you're gonna be adding one, buy an extra seal for the driver one. I cut the pits off. It looks ugly both ways, but at least it doesn't have a little mountain pit. And that was a seal off of my parts beetle that we reused for the driver's side. All right. Well, passenger side mirror was a success. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.